class 8 i hope you all are fine and safe at your home this is your science lesson and we are starting our day with the date and the day what is the date today yes today is 14th of december So firstly we will quickly revise our previous lesson and then we will move on to our next lesson. What was our previous lesson? Yes, our previous lesson was about the lenses. It was about the lens. We had discussed how many types of the lens? Yes, <clears throat> we had discussed two types of the lens. So what were the name of those lenses? The first one was convex lens. And what is the name of the second one? Yes, Hadia, what is the name of the second lens? The name of the second type of lens is very good concave lens. Convex lens are generally called as they are called as convergence lens. And what Concave lens are also called as divergence lens. And the name is given to them on the base of their functioning. Now we'll look on we'll have a look on the diagram of convex and concave lens. That will include their shape also. So, a concave lens is of this shape. Okay. And what is going to be the shape of the convex lens? Sorry, concave. Now, we will discuss their shape. What was the shape of convex lens? Yes, the shape of convex lens is like this. They are pointed from the both ends. What is the shape of concave lens? The concave lens has shape like this. Then we had also discussed some basic labelings and important points regarding these lenses. Let's move on to this. This is interesting. I am loving this. First of all, here we are discussing convex lens. So the line passing from the center of the lens is called as principal axis. The line cutting the lens in two halves means it is cutting the lens in two halves. Just like this. Something like this. So this is a principal axis. The center of the center of the line and also the center of the lens is called as optical center. Then the light rays that are passing through the lens, two light rays are passing through the lens and after passing through the lens they are meeting up at, at a point that is called diagram of convex lens. The line which divides the lens into two halves is called as principal axis. Very good. And the center of the lens is called as 
ऑप्टिकल सेंटर लाइक जो ऐसे आप लेंस ड्रॉ करें जो लाइन उस लेंस को हाफ में डिवाइड करेगी दैट विल कॉल्ड एज प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस एंड द सेंटर ऑफ द लेंस इज कॉल्ड एज ऑप्टिकल सेंटर एंड द रेज ऑफ द लाइन्स द पॉइंट वेर द रेज ऑफ द लाइन्स आर मीटिंग इज प्रिंसिपल फोकस so the distance between the optical center and the principal focus it is called as focal length like see if we just draw this diagram over here so the distance from here to here is called as focal length okay is it clear now what is the principal focus what is the focal length and what is an optical center now we will quickly move on to our next lens which is a concave lens this is the diagram of concave lens so most of the things and the concept are similar see the line which is dividing the lens into two half is called as principal axis the center of the lens is called as optical center okay and the distance from the optical center to the principal focus is called as focal length you just need to know that in this lens the rays of the light are not meeting up a single point after passing through the lens see after passing through the lens they are dispersed and they are meeting up at a point which is towards the backward side they are reflecting the light in this way so today we will learn about the image formation by the lens through the ray diagrams this is also going to be an interesting topic for you let's learn it together now we are discussing image formation by lens image formation by lens okay so in image formation we are will move from one step to another firstly we will discuss the convex lens and it's about the refraction through lens so this is a convex lens and what is this line called as very good this is called as principal focus so our principal axis and what is the center of lens called as very good it is called as optical center so we can represent this principal optical center as o if the rays ray of light is passing from this point it will come here and it will reflect this way means agar lens ke upar se light pass karegi the ray of the light will move when the ray of the light is entering from the top of the lens it will make an image towards the downward side and whereas whereas in the case of the concave lens the formation of the image is different we'll see that now as you have already seen in the diagram which i have shown you the ray of light is not meeting the rays of the light were not meeting at a single point if you will see this what is this very good this is the principal axis so we have seen that if the ray of the light will enter from this point what will happen it will cross it will move toward downward side or it will reflect back think over it yes if the rays of the light is moving is passing through the lens it just change its medium a bit and it's just reflect back and the shadow of the image is formed that's how the concave lens works 
सिमिलरली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव अ लुक दैट अगर हम लाइट नीचे से पास करें तो कैसे वो वर्क करेगा लाइक अगर हम डाउन लाइट की जो रे है वो डाउनवर्ड मूव कर रहा है लेट सी इन दिस इफ द रे ऑफ द लाइट इज मूविंग दिस वे सो इमेज विल फॉर्म लाइक दिस इज इट क्लियर इफ द रे ऑफ द लाइट इज मूविंग दिस वे तो इमेज विल फॉर्म लाइक दिस अगर हम ऊपर से नीचे की तरफ लाइट पास करेंगे तो इमेज फ्रंट पर बनेगा और अगर हम ऊपर से लाइट फॉल करेंगे तो इमेज डाउनवर्ड बनेगा सेम इज द केस विद द कंकेव लेंस इन द कंकेव लेंस अगर हम यू करके लाइट पास करेंगे तो क्या होगा वो थोड़ा सा रिफ्लेक्ट करके ऊपर को मूव करेगी वह इसका रिफ्लेक्शन नीचे को आएगा ऐसे होगा ना This is about the formation of image in the concave lens. And if let's erase this. Now we'll discuss an other condition. Let's draw a lens. This is principle of focus, whereas this is. optical center the center of the lens is called as optical center we can represent it as o so if the light is entered from the top or hum usko u pass hoti hai bhai agar line optical center se jaati hai to wo straight pass hoti means agar center of the lens se light jaati hai to bilkul straight pass ho jaati hai downward i am drawing all these uh, the previous assumptions about the rays of light over here so hamare liye comparison karna easy hoga humne dekha tha agar ek ray of light yahan se enter ho rahi hai to wo u ka ke jayegi u hi dekha tha humne aur agar ray of light kuch yahan se enter ho rahi to wo u jayegi like this but if the ray of light is entering from the center which is optical center then it will pass straight इट इज सिमिलर फॉर कन केव लेंस कंकेव लेंस के भी अगर ऑप्टिकल सेंटर में से लाइट पास करेगी तो सेंटर ऑफ लेंस इज ऑप्टिकल सेंटर अगर लाइट पास करेगी तो वो सीधा डाउनवर्ड मूव करेगी दिस इज ऑनली पॉसिबल वेन लाइट इज पासिंग थ्रू द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर वेर एज वी हैव सीन दैट वेन लाइट इज पासिंग फ्रॉम द अदर साइड दैट ऑनली change its its path a bit and it reflects back like we have all seen if the ray of light is passing from here to bas thoda sa apna path change karti hai and it come back like this this is about the image formation in the lens that's how an image is formed i am repeating it all over again the center line which is cutting the lens into two half is called as principal axis the center is called as optical center see the reflection of light is occurring here but in case of concave lens the light reflects a bit and it changes its path which is not opposite to it so in this case the image is formed virtually virtual means which is not real whereas in the case of convex lens the image which is formed is inverted inverted hoga na yahan se light pass ki to yahan pe hame image nazar aayegi humne upar se light pass ki to niche hame image show hogi whereas in case of concave lens the image is virtual you have to practice these diagrams practice them in your copies at least draw them twice and try to 
learn the concept along with the drawing the diagrams. I hope it, it is clear now and if you find any difficulty, you are free to ask me on WhatsApp group or on Google Classroom. Allah Hafiz, happy learning.